All right, guys, this is Cole. Welcome back to another movie review. Um, We are continuing on with the Christmas uh, movie reviews for the month of December. And for today's and for today's Christmas movie, I am going to be reviewing the 1989 Christmas comedy classic movie, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. This movie, yeah, so yeah, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, one of the best Christmas movies of all time, and many and many people would agree with that statement. And National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation has a really good cast. So guys, all right, guys, this is the official cast of National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I, I mean, this movie's got a great cast. You got, I mean, you got Chevy Chase, you got Dennis Quaid, you got uh, May Quetzal, which I probably butchered that name. You got uh, Ellen Hamilton Latson, you got Johnny Glackey, you got Juliet Lewis, you got uh, Beverly Angelo, you got uh, William Hickey. You got Julia Willius uh, Dreyfus. You got Nicholas Guest. You got Brian Doyle Murray. You got uh, Nicolta Scorsese, and you got uh, Doris Roberts. So yeah, this movie overall does have a really good cast to it. But I will be perfectly honest with you guys. The I mean, do, guys, do not get me wrong. The cast in this movie is absolutely fantastic, but. Believe it or not, guys, the cast is not the reason that I love this movie, even though the cast is all fantastic in the movie. The reason I love the reason I love this movie so much is because now guys, when it comes now guys, when it comes to the movie National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, this is def this is definitely this is definitely a movie that Guys, this is definitely a movie I watch every Christmas, and um, and guys, I am sure I am sure that so many people watch this movie on Christmas, uh, especially myself included. I mean, national, I mean, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I mean, I mean, guys, like, what? I mean, what can I say about National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation that has not already been said? I mean, this movie. I mean, guys, this movie is a Christmas movie masterpiece. Like, guys, like, I do... Guys, this is a fantastic movie. I do not have a single issue with this movie at all. But, before I... But, before I get into my review of Christmas Vacation, before I get into my review of Christmas Vacation, I am going to talk about my history with this movie and how I was first introduced to National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. So, when I, so guys, when I first, what, now guys, when I first saw the movie National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, I was about nine years old, so, so guys, like I said, I was nine years old when I first saw this movie, so, so guys, I saw this movie when I was nine years old, so, when I first saw the movie National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, uh, when I was nine years old, so, like I said, I was nine years old when I first saw this movie, so, at the, guys, at the time I saw this movie when I was nine, that would have that would have been in the year 2012, and obviously it's 2024 now. So obviously I'm no longer a kid; I'm an adult. Obviously, but I will say this: even guys, even though I grew up with this movie, this is a movie that I continue to watch because National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation is one of the best Christmas movies of all time for many reasons that. We will discover uh, that we will discuss throughout the course of the review. But before I get, before I get into my review of National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, I do have to break down the plot. All right, guys, this is the official plot synopsis of the movie National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. As the holidays approach, Clark Griswold, played by Chevy Chase, wants to have a perfect family Christmas. So, he pesters his wife, Ellen, and his children as he tries to make sure everything is in line, including the tree and house decorations. However, things go bad quickly. His cousin, Eddie, played by Randy Quaid, and his family show up unplanned and start living in their camper on the Griswold property. Even worse, Clark's employer's renegade on the holiday bonus he needs 
So yeah, guys, that is the official plot synopsis of the movie National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Uh, in fact, you in fact, guys, you can see that I own. Guys, I am a massive fan of National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. In fact, I have this. I have this DVD that comes with four classic Christmas movies. I mean, you got The Polar Express. You got, of course, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, Elf, and A Christmas Story. Now, I know what some of you guys are thinking. Well, are you going to review those other movies? Well, guys, I'm not going to review those other previous movies because, in fact, if any of you guys are finding my channel for the first time, I reviewed those movies last year. So, if you... Now, guys, now, guys, if you have a question of which Christmas movies I've watched, just search up my channel name, Juan Soul Pictures, and just search up the movie and the review should come up. So, if you got any questions, you know... You already know where to look, but without further ado, let's get into my review of National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. So the movie starts off with, of course, so the movie starts off with, of course, you know, so the movie starts off with, of course, our main character, Clark Griswold, who was played by Chevy Chase. So the movie starts off with Clark Griswold, where he is in the, now, now guys, so, the movie starts off with, of course, our main character, Clark Griswold, who was played by Chevy Chase. And at the, and guys, at the beginning of the movie, at the beginning, we are introduced to our main character, Clark Griswold. And at the beginning of the movie, so the movie starts off with, of course, the movie starts off, of course, with our main, uh, so the movie starts off, of course, with our main character, Clark Griswold, who is played by Chevy Chase. And, Clark Gris and Clark Griswold at now guys for those who haven't seen this movie at the beginning of the movie Clark Griswold who is played by Chef, uh, Clark Griswold who is played by Chevy Chase he is he is driving the he is driving a car with his family in it now I know what some of you guys are thinking for those who haven't seen this movie well who exactly is Clark Griswold's parents so Clark Griswold his family consists of this. His family, his family consists of his wife, uh, Ellen Griswold, who is uh, Ellen Griswold, who is played by Beverly D'Angelo. The rest of his, the rest of his fam, the rest of his uh, children, uh, his children include his children include Russell Griswold, who is played by Johnny uh, Gulecki, who is uh, and for those who haven't seen this movie, Russell is of course you know Clark's son. There is the daughter Ellen Griswold, who is the older daughter of the family, and there is, and of course, and of course, there is the younger sister Ruby Sue Johnson, who uh, no, not Ruby Sue Johnson, um, Audrey Griswold, who is played by Juliet Lewis, who of course is the younger sister of the family. But the way this movie starts, for those who have not seen this movie, this movie starts with, of course, our main character Clark Griswold, who is played by Chevy Chase, and. At the and at the be and at the beginning of the movie, Clark Griswold, Clark Griswold, who is played by Chevy Chase, he just he just so happens he just so happens to be driving a car across. He just so happens to be driving a car alongside the road with his family uh, in the month of December for Christmas. Now, guys, for those who haven't seen this movie, the re now guys, the reason now guys, the reason this movie starts off with Clark Griswold driving his family car, you know, uh, across the road on Christmas is because Clark Griswold, he guys, believe it or not, Clark Griswold, him and his family at the beginning of this movie, they plan they plan on getting they plan on getting a tree for Christmas and stuff like that. However, the way this movie starts, however, the way this movie starts at the beginning when the uh when the Griswold fam when the Griswold family is um when the Griswold family is driving their car uh, when the Griswold family is driving their car to go get a Christmas tree, of course, of course, since it is the month of December, the Griswold family they are driving in their car singing Christmas songs to each other like tis the season to be jolly and stuff like that, you know, all that good shenanigans. But However, guys, there is just, there is just one mistake of, however, there is just a couple of mistakes that the main character of the movie, Clark Griswold, made. And, of course, Clark Griswold, the dad, played by Chevy Chase, is the main character of the movie. 
So, yeah, um, Clark Griswold, played by Chevy Chase, he is driving the car alongside the road and stuff like that, and of course, the family is singing Christmas songs in the car and stuff like that. However, cl however, Clark, however, Russell, however, guys, Russell, who is the son of Clark, he is, ta he is talking to it, he is talking to his dad saying, he's like, he's like, dad, are we, he's like, dad, are we going Christmas shopping and stuff like that? And, you know, Clark Griswold is like, no, son, we don't need to do that. And then, guys, I re now, guys, I wrote, now, guys, I really liked, I really liked this, I really liked this part of the movie where, uh, I really liked the part of the movie where Clark, his daughter, now, guys, I really liked the part of the movie where Audrey, who is the older daughter of the family, she literally asked her dad in the car, she literally says, she says to your dad, you're not going to buy that ugly, stupid stuff, Santa Claus stocking, well, sock thing from last year, are you? And then Clark Griswold is like, uh, he's like, no, honey, I got one of those at home. Instead, what we are doing is getting the Griswold family Christmas tree, which is what, you know, Clark says and stuff like that. However, the, uh, however, what, however, what Clark Griswold does not know is that However, what Clark does not know is that this Christmas is not going to go well at all for him, and especially the days leading up to it. Now, I know what some of you guys are thinking. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, at the be now, guys, at the be at the beginning of the movie, when Clark Griswold is in, you know, be now, for guys, for those who haven't seen this movie, Clark Griswold, when he's in the car with his family, he is the he is the guy with the steering wheel. So yeah. Basically, so yeah, guys, basically Clark Griswold, played by Chevy Chase, he is basically the one driving the car. However, Clark Griswold, he may, however, guys, Clark Griswold, he manages, he manages to come across some, tr he manages to come across a truck driver from behind him. However, the truck, however, guys, the truck driver has two people in the car. But the truck drivers themselves are not, but guys, the truck, dr but the pe but guys, the people driving the truck are not, are, guys, the people driving the truck are not nice people. The truck drivers, uh, the truck drivers themselves, th guess what, guys, for those who haven't seen this movie, the truck drivers, they literally, no, now guys, no joke. The truck drivers, they literally tried to chase, they literally tried to chase down the Griswold family and stuff like that. The truck drivers, guess what guys, the truck drivers are, the truck drivers are literally, now guys, the person driving the truck uh, behind them is literally a jerk. And guys, and guys, guess what the, guess what the truck driver does? The truck driver is an absolute jerk. The truck driver, he goes 70 miles per hour. He, now guys, the truck driver, he literally drives the truck. He, now guys, for, for a point of reference, uh, now guys, the truck I'm referring to, it's not a semi truck. It's a normal truck. But guys, the truck that these, the truck that these two jerks, uh, the truck that these two jerks are driving, guess, guess what guys? The guys, the truck that these people are driving, these guys are literally jerks. They drive the truck as fast as they can, but guess what they do, people? The truck drivers, they go they go to the other they go to the other side of the road and they and guess what, guys? They literally pull they literally pull up in front of the Griswold family car and stuff like that. However, guess what, people? So guys, when it comes to the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation franchise, um, the first movie, Chris, uh, the first movie, National Lampoon's Vacation is rated R. But, but guys, here, guys, here, but guys, here is the thing. Even guys, here is the thing. Even though National Lampoon's Vacation, the first movie, is rated R, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, which is the third movie in the Vacation franchise. This movie is rate this movie is rated PG-13. So, obvious obviously because obviously because of the because of the fact that this is a PG-13 movie, obviously there's stuff they had to cut out of this movie. But I will say, but I will say guys, for guys, I will say for a movie that is rated PG-13, the humor in this movie is absolutely hilarious. But yeah, for a movie that's rated PG-13, the humor in this movie is absolutely hilarious, where, 
So guys, for those who so guys, for those who haven't seen this movie, the humor in this movie is absolutely hilarious. Like <laughs> like guys, there guys, guys, I am not joking, but for those who haven't seen this movie, guys, there is there is a very there is a very funny laugh out loud scene at the beginning of this movie where the now guys, the people now guys, the people in the truck who now guys, the people in the truck who go who go past Clark Griswold, guess what they do? They literally go past him, but guess what? Guess what Clark Griswold, guess what the main character Clark does? Guess what Clark does, people? He literally takes his middle finger and guys, he sticks he sticks up his he sticks up his middle finger towards the truck drivers, but the uh, the truck drivers are looking at him and guys, and guys, guess what Clark Griswold says? Clark Griswold says, eat my rubber and stuff like that. But before Clark Griswold says before Clark Griswold says that, he is talking he is talking to his family in the car. And so Clark Griswold, he Clark Griswold and got and guys, when Clark Griswold says this, this is before the truck driver, this is before the truck drivers pull up in front of him. Uh this is before they decide to pull in front of him. But Clark Griswold said, but Clark Griswold says he literally says this. He literally says this. Uh, eat my dust and burn my and burn my rubber. Which, to be honest, guys, I thought that that scene was absolutely hilarious. But the second that Clark Griswold says that, his son by the name of Russell literally says to his dad. He said. He literally said. He says. He literally says this. Dad. He says, Dad, I think what you mean to say is, uh, he says, Dad, I think what you mean to say is burn my rubber and eat my dust. <laughs> and then the dad literally says to him, oh, shut up, Russell. I know what I'm doing, <laughs> which I thought that that scene was absolutely hilarious. But, but here's, but here's the thing, people. When, but guys, here is the thing. When Clark Griswold flips off the, the people in front of him. But when Clark flips off the people in front of him, his wife, uh, his wife Ellen is yelling at him. She literally, she yells at him. She says, Clark, I, she says, Clark, I, do, she says, Clark, I do not want to spend the holidays dead. But here's, but guys, but guys, this is, guys, this is where the movie gets even more epic. After, guys, after those people in the truck leave, guess what, people? After, guys, after the, after those jerks, after those jerks leave of uh, the Griswold family, guys, guess what, people? There is, guys, there is literally a, there is literally a truck driver, but guess what? This is a much bigger truck. For those who have not seen the movie, uh, the truck, uh, the truck itself that is a much bigger truck, it is, it is, bas it is basically, it is basically a semi-truck, but Instead of it being a semi truck, it is a it is a giant semi truck with uh with tree logs on it. However, Clark Griswold is so uh, and guys, this is a funny movie, but Clark Griswold he make guys Clark Griswold he makes such a stupid decision, guys. He would guys for those who haven't seen for those who have not seen this movie, Clark Griswold. He literally drives. He literally drives his truck off the side of the road. But he's now granted. He's in, now granted. He's not off the side of the road yet. He's in the middle of the road. But Clark Griswold, guess what he does, people? He manages to he manages to drive the car under underneath the moving truck with the logs. But of course, his wife Helen. She is literally, she is literally lecturing Clark Griswold about this. She's like, Clark, I don't want to spend the holidays dead. But Clark Griswold's wife, but guess what, people? Clark Griswold's wife who lectured his, her husband. And then, but guess what, people? Clark Griswold's wife, Helen, she says, she says, husband, she says, she says, Clark, we are, un we are underneath, we are in the middle of the road underneath a truck. And then Clark Griswold says, you don't think I know that? But as soon, but as soon as that, but as soon as that hap, but as soon as that happens, Clark, uh, but as soon as that happens, uh, Helen, who is played by, Cl Helen, who is played, uh, but of course, as soon as Clark goes underneath the truck, Helen, uh, of course, Clark's wife, Helen, who is played by Beverly Angelo, she, guess what she does, people? Helen, 
Uh, now, Helen, uh, guess what, people? Helen, she is, li she is literally, uh, she is literally, uh, sitting in the car with her husband. And guess what, people? Helen starts, uh, she, he guess what? Helen starts praying to God, and this is what she says. She said, she says, she she literally says, "Oh dear Lord in heaven, please let." Uh, she <laughs> uh, now, guys, uh, now, guys, I will admit I am a Christian myself, but I do find this scene funny where Helen, who is uh, where Clark's wife, Hel, where guys, Clark's wife, Helen, she is she is literally praying under the car, and so Helen is praying inside the car. She says, "Oh dear Lord, please let us live." And pl and and for and forgive my and forgive my husband. He knows not what he does and stuff like that, <laughs> which I thought that that scene was absolutely hilarious. But as so but guys, as soon as that scene is done, Clark Griswold. He now guys, Clark Griswold is such a bad driver. The second that happens, Clark Griswold. He met he met Clark Griswold, the driver of the driver. He ma he manage he manages to get the car uh, out from underneath the log truck and guess what Clark Griswold does he literally turns his car off side of the road and guess what they they hit a snow hill that's like off the side of the road and the car goes flying into the air and then lands on the other side of a road and stuff like that but as soon but as soon but as soon as that but as soon as that ha but as soon as that happens Clark Gris uh, but as soon as that happens Clark Griswold and his family they li they literally see that they are in the forest where they can cut down the Christmas tree. So then Clark Gris uh, and then Clark Griswold says, "Well, we're here and alive and stuff like that." So because so because of that, uh the Griswold so because of that, the Griswold family, they are guys, the Griswold family, they are walking through the forest and stuff like that and now, guys, obviously, uh, obviously, this, now, guys, this is a, now, guys, this is a short, this is a short movie, um, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, it only, it only clocks in at, like, uh, I mean, with, I mean, with, I mean, with the, cre with the credits, it only clocks in in an hour and 37 minutes. But you know what? I'm perfectly okay with that because this movie, this movie flies by at an incredibly quick pace, and guess what? Guys, I was never once bored with this movie. It is a very well-paced movie, and it's a movie that the family can definitely enjoy on Christmas. But getting back to the review of the movie itself. So, getting back to the review of the movie itself. Um, Like I already established, the Griswold family, you know, they're not doing so well uh, with what happened on the road. And when the and when the and when the and when Clark and his family are and, and guys when Clark and his family are in the woods on uh are in the woods in December obviously because it's the Christmas season obviously you know uh, obviously there's snow everywhere and stuff like that but as the but as the course of the movie goes on and keep in mind this and, and keep in mind this is and keep in mind this is not very far in the movie when the Gris when now guys when the Griswold family when they eventually when they eventually come across a Christmas tree they want because because this is a family movie the guys the Christmas tree it the Christmas tree is all like guys there is a golden light shining in the sky above the Christmas tree and that of course is what that of course is what signifies the fact that the Griswold family, they know for a fact that this is the Christmas tree that they want. But there's just one problem. And to and to me, and guys, to me, this is by far one of the funniest scenes in the movie. Because because now, guys, this is the funniest, uh, one of the funniest parts in the movie. Um, so obviously, you know, Clark Griswold is the family man of the house. So guys, the movie so yeah, when the when the Griswold family when they're in the when they're in the forest and they come across the Christmas tree they want guess what people uh Ru guess what people Russell guess what people Russell who Russell who just so happens to be Russell who just so happens to be Clark's son, he literally asks his dad. He asks his dad, "Uh dad, uh he's like, "Dad, did you bring a uh, did you bring the saw?" But the second, but the second that his son says that, 
But the second his son says that, guess what? Guess what, people? There is, guys, guess what? But guess what, people? The second the son says that, the, the dad has a disappointed look in his face because the dad realizes he forgot to bring the saw and they went all this way, which I thought that that scene was absolutely hilarious. Now, obviously, this is a, a family movie, so some stuff was cut out, but... Obviously, obviously, because obviously because of the fact that Clark Griswold, obviously because of the fact that Clark Griswold, he forgot the handsaw at home. Guess what, people? The Griswold family, guess what they do? <laughs> no joke, people. The Griswold family, guess what they do, people? They literally, no joke, people. The Griswold family, they literally, they literally dig and no joke, people. The Griswold family. Guess what? They use their bear. They use. Oh, sorry, I gotta talk wider. But guess, but guess what, people? The Griswold family. Guess what they do? They will, guys. They literally, they literally dig the Christmas tree out the ground with their hands, and then they drive home with a Christmas tree with the roots sticking that were sticking out the ground that they obviously tore away from the Christmas tree. Which I thought that that scene was absolutely hilarious, even as a kid. And it still is to this day, 35 years later, since this movie came out. However, as, however, guys, as the, however, guys, as the, as the course of the movie goes on, the Griswold family, they obviously want their Christmas to go fine. But, the, but guys, there is just one problem. The Griswold, the, guys, the Griswold family, they have two neighbors next door. So yeah, uh, the Griswold family, they, guys, the Griswold family, they have two neighbors next door. They got, uh, they got Todd Chester, and they, uh, they got Todd Chester, and they got Margot. And, and so guys, for those who haven't seen this movie, Margot just so happens to be the husband of Todd, who just so happens to be, who just so happens to be the next door neighbors and stuff like that. But of course, but of, but of course, people, but of course, people, if, guys, if, Guys, if any of you have seen any family comedy of this sort, like most family comedies, at least the ones that I've seen, if it's a movie that involves neighbors, usually the na usually the neighbors do not uh the, the obviously the neighbor the obviously the neighbors next door, they do not like Clark and his family at all. Like at all. But I will admit it I will admit it does lead to some pretty it does lead to some pretty funny scenes of the movie. So Anyways, get anyways, getting back to the review of the movie itself, when the Griswold when the Griswold fa when the Griswold family finally when the Griswold family finally arrives home to their house, they decide to set up the Christmas tree in the living room. But Clark Griswold, he ob he obviously notice he obviously notices that the Christmas tree is too tall to put a star on top of it. So because of this, how does Clark Griswold deal with the situation? So, Clark, so yeah, uh, for those who haven't seen this movie, Clark Griswold, the, w now guys, the way that Clark Griswold decides to deal with this situation, he, now guys, for those who haven't seen this movie, Clark Griswold, he, now guys, Clark Griswold, he go, he goes outside, he goes outside to cut the Christmas tree, you know, like, at least cut the bottom of it off and stuff like that, and now, now guys, like I said, this is PG-13, so, there are definitely some jokes that would fly over kids' heads, but this is a really funny movie. Like, now, got now, guys, there, now, guys, there, now, guys, there, now, guys, there is an incredibly funny scene in this movie where, now, guys, after the Griswold family, they get their Christmas tree home and stuff like that. Um, after now, guys, after they get their Christmas tree home and stuff like that. Um, the Griswold family plans to find a way to make the tree fit in the living room. So because so because of that. So because of that, Clark Griswold, played by Chevy Chase, he decide he decides to go he decides to go outside and you know use a chainsaw to cut it. But I really liked I really liked this scene because Clark Griswold he is wearing a hockey mask and honestly, guys, guys, I will be honest, guys, I thought I thought that that scene was absolutely hilarious because the part where Clark Griswold wears a, a hockey mask. That was basically meant to be a spoof of Jason from the Friday the 13th movies. So, so yeah, I thought that that scene was a rather funny spoof in a Christmas family movie. 
But getting back to the review of the movie itself, when now guys, getting back to the review of the movie itself, when now guys, Clark Griswold, he he is about he is about to cut down the he is about to cut the bottom of the tree off. But obviously, but before Clark is about to cut the bottom of the tree off, uh, so guys, uh, the so guys, before Clark is about to cut the tree down, the two neighbors next door by the name of Todd, by the name of Todd and Margo, they literally, now guys, Todd and Margo, they walk outside and they hear the chainsaw running. And, and so, and so, and so, and so Todd, and so Todd is like, that Christmas tree is too tall. What are you planning on doing with it exactly? And, and so, and so guys, uh, obviously this is a kid's movie, but since it's PG-13, there are, there are some jokes that definitely flew over my head, even as a kid, like... <laughs> Now, guys, for those who haven't seen this movie, now, guys, now, guys, there, guys, there is an incredibly funny scene in the movie where Clark Griswold, so, yeah, uh, for those who haven't seen this movie, uh, so, guys, uh, the next door neighbor by the name of Todd, he is literally asking Clark, what are you gonna do with that tree, and Clark says, bend over and I'll show you, and the husband's like, what? And then, and then the hu and then the husband, uh, and then Clark, and then Clark literally says to Todd, he says, I wasn't talking to you, I was talking to her. And then, and then Todd just looks at him like, oh boy. <laughs> Which, I'll be honest, as it, obviously as a kid, I didn't get that joke, but now that I'm an adult, uh, an adult, that scene makes so much more sense, and, yeah, very, and like I said, this is a Christmas family movie, but there is definitely some very edgy, uh, adult stuff, uh, for a movie that was intended for kids on uh, as a Christmas movie, but anyways, get but anyways, getting but anyways, getting but anyways, guys, anyways, guys, getting back to the review, getting back to the review of the movie itself. When it comes to the character Clark Griswold, af guys, af guys, after Clark, after Clark, uh, after the main character by the name of Clark, after he has taken care of the Christmas tree, Clark. Guess what, people? He literally he literally puts the Christmas tree in his living room because, well, it's December and that's Christmas tradition. And Clark Griswold, he uh, now Clark Griswold, he has he has a bunch of ropes tied around the tree and stuff like that. And so Clark Griswold, he literally says to the family, "I present to you the Griswold family Christmas tree." But obviously, uh, the main character Clark, he has a, he basically has a, a pair like. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a giant tool you use for cutting uh, wood, I guess. So, so basically, the main character Clark, he basically, he basically uses that. He basically uses a, a snipper tool, I guess. I don't know if that's the exact term, but I think that's what it is. Correct me in the comment section down below. But essentially, Clark Griswold, essentially the main character by the name of Clark, he he uses those plier, he uses those uh, plier cutter things and. When it comes to the character Clark, he uses that. He cuts the rope off the tree, but guess what, people? Guess what, people? The tree itself is not stable whatsoever, and so the tree, it guys, the tree, it literally, it literally breaks the window. It breaks the window that goes outside the living room, and it falls on top of Clark. And then Clark says to the family, he literally says, he says, "I'm okay, just, uh, just some tree sap here and stuff like that." Which I will admit that scene still is really funny 35 years later. But obvious, but obviously, because of the fact that he got tree sap all over him and some of the family members did, there now guys, now guys, for those who haven't seen this movie, there guys, there guys, there is a there is a very there is a very funny scene. There is a very funny scene in this move. There is a very funny scene in this movie where Clark Griswold, he is laying in bed with his wife, you know talking about a Christmas and adult stuff. And obviously because Clark got, you know, tree sap over him, there's a funny part. There's a funny part where he's, re you know, there's a funny part where he's reading a magazine and like his hands get stuck to the page and like the page rips. Like I thought that that scene was absolutely hilarious. But, af but guys, after Clark Griswold gets that magazine stuck to him, he goes to bed with his wife. He tries to shut off the lamp, but... Obviously, because he has tree sap, he accidentally gets his uh, hand stuck in his wife's hair and, you know, accidentally grabs, you know, the head, you know, he accidentally grabs the, the headlamp, which sticks to him and is stuck in bed when it turns off and stuff like that. But then, but guys, that is just the setup of the movie. It gets even better.
So yeah, uh, as so yeah, guys, as so yeah, guys, as the court as the course of the movie goes on, the movie, you know, the movie Christmas Vacation, it just gets funnier and better the more it goes on. And this is a movie that I enjoyed as a kid, and I still enjoy as an adult, and it still holds up. Uh, this movie holds up thirty five years later. But anyways, but anyways, guys, I've already, I have already covered the beginning of this movie, so I might, I might as well cover the rest of the movie. So yes, so yeah, guys, so yeah, guys, this is a, this, so yeah, guys, this is a Christmas movie, but guess what? For a movie that's a family Christmas movie, this movie does have a bad guy in the movie, uh, the main, uh, the main protagonist, uh, the main, and. Uh, so yeah, uh, this movie does have an antagonist, a type of bad guy sort of character, but I'll get to him pretty soon here. So yeah, guys, after that part at the beginning of the movie, we, yeah, guys, we, yeah, guys, we are finally, we are finally, we, yeah, guys, we are finally, we are finally introduced to the main antagonist of the movie. And guys, the main antagonist of the movie is a guy by the name of Mr. Frank Shirley, who, guess what, just so happens to be the main bad guy of this movie. But anyways... So yeah, uh, so yeah, guys, we, yeah, guys, uh, so this movie, t so yeah, uh, so yeah, guys, uh, so yeah, guys, uh, the next day after the Griswold, you know, the day after they get their family Christmas tree, um, so yeah, guys, uh, we, yeah, guys, uh, we get this, now, now, grant, now, granted, it is very minimal because it's not the main focus of the movie, but w now, guys, we, guys, we do get to see the main we do get to see the main character by the name of Clark, you know, we, I mean, ba I mean, basically, we, I mean, basically, we get, to, we get to see what his work, li we get to see what he does for work and his job, you know, etc, etc, and of, and of course, obvi and of course, obviously, and of course, obviously, of course, obviously, guys, all right, guys, the main character by the name of Clark, his, bo his boss at work, Mr. Frank Shirley, is an absolute jerk. Now, for those who have not seen this movie, I know what some of you guys are thinking. Well, how is he a jerk? Uh, so yeah, guys. Uh, so yeah, guys. Uh, so yeah, guys. Spo yeah. Uh, spoilers for those who haven't seen this movie. Uh, when it comes to the main uh, antagonist, Doctor. Uh, no, <laughs> sorry. When it comes to the main character by the name of Mister Frank Shirley. Uh, the reason that he's the main protagonist of the movie is because Mister Frank Shirley. He is, uh, Mr. Frank Shirley, he is, he is lit, so yeah, guys, believe it or not, Mr. Frank Shirley, he is, he is literally, he is literally cutting down the price, he is literally cutting down the price on everyone's Christmas bonuses at work. Way lower than they normally get for a, a yearly, for a yearly saver, uh, salary, so yeah. Obviously, he's a main bad guy of the movie for the reason of that. And obviously, Clark Griswold does not like his boss at all for that reason. And to be perfectly honest, I to be perfectly honest, I do not blame Clark at all for not liking his boss for that reason. I mean, I mean, if that happened to me at work, I mean, I'd be pretty upset about it. I'm sure everyone else would. But anyways, we are going to continue on with the course of this review. So anyways, getting back, anyways, getting back, getting back to the review of the movie itself. But anyways, getting, anyways, getting back to the, getting back to the review of the movie itself. After, you know, after, you know, after we're, after we're introduced to the, so guys, after we're introduced to the main, uh, the main antagonist of the movie, Mr. Frank Shirley, we're, now guys, after we're introduced to Mr. Frank we are now guys we are inter we are introduced now guys we are introduced to a girl by the name of Mary and so guys so guys spoilers for those who haven't seen this movie uh Mary so yeah guys uh Mary so yeah guys Mary she now guys Mary she just so happens to be one of uh she just so happens to be one of Clark's you know co-workers and stuff like that but here's the thing Clark but she, uh, but since she is a girl, believe it or not, Clark, guess what, people? Clark, guess what, people? Clark, guess what, people? The main character, Clark, he fi he finds he finds this he finds this girl super attractive to where he. So yeah, uh, Clark Griswold. He now, guys, Clark, 
guess what? He finds this he finds this girl so he finds this girl so attractive that he literally says stuff to her that he doesn't mean to say in front of her face. Like, <laughs> like now guys, I now guys, I will admit, like now guys, I am gonna admit Mary now, like I said, Mary, she does she does not really have a big part in the movie, but when she's there, it does it, it I will admit it does make for some very funny scenes, like so yeah, guys. So yeah, guys. Uh, spoilers for those who haven't seen this movie. Uh, now guys. Now guys. There. Now guys. There is a very funny. There is a very funny scene in this movie where the main character by the name of Clark. He is now guys. Clark. He is literally working at the Christmas store, and guess what? He literally, he literally manages to come across the girl by the name of Mary, and he he finds Mary so attractive, and he. And so Clark Griswold, he literally, he literally says to Mary, "It's so nippy in here." And the, and then Clark, and then Clark, and then Clark is like, "Wait a minute, not nippy. I mean, you know, uh, and so cold out here. What am I saying and stuff like that?" But obviously, you could tell he wants to flirt with her. And obviously, he, and honestly, even as a kid, I thought that scene was absolutely hilarious. But guys, but guys, but guys, here is the thing. So yeah, uh, obviously, so yeah, guys, obviously, like I said, Clark is, Clark is the dad. He is the father of his two kids, and you know he's married to his wife. Well, obviously, 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 because of the fact that, you know, obviously because of the fact that, um, that, you know, Clark is at work, obviously Clark is not expecting any of his family to show up. But I will, but, but guys, but guys, I will, I will admit this. But guys, I will admit this. The f but guys, I will admit this. It does it does lead to a very funny it does lead to a very funny scene in the movie where obvious like I said, obviously Clark did not expect any of his family members to show up at work and stuff like that. And now guys, for those who haven't seen this movie, it it now guys, it does it does lead it does lead to a very it does lead to a very funny scene where so obvious. So obviously, Mary she in she introduces herself to Clark, and so and so Mary she she lifts up she lifts up a little bit of her you know she lifts up her pants leg a little bit on her dress, and she's literally holding out a pair of underwear. And she says, "This is what I'm wearing." But, but I will admit it does it does lead up to a funny scene because obvious because obviously Clark is not expecting any of his family members to show up. But of course, Clark, uh, obviously something happens that he's not expecting where, guess what, people, for those who haven't seen this movie, Clark, no, so when it comes to the character Clark, his, his, guess what, his son by the name of Russell literally shows up to his work, <laughs> and, and guys, I, now guys, I really, I, now guys, I really do, I really do like the scene where Clark is like, uh, where, where Mary, she, where Mary, she is literally, she is literally saying to Clark, like, do you see the line across me? And Clark is like, no. And then, now guys, here is a very funny part of the movie where Russell, which is Clark's son, he shows up to his work and so he sees the, the attractive girl and so Russell's a kid, so not really appropriate, but he sees that, sh he sees that Mary lifted up her dress leg and so, and, <laughs> and, 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 and so, and so guys, yeah. And so, guys, uh, obviously, because that happens, you know, Clark is looking at, you know, Mary, who he finds attractive. And so, and so, you know, Clark, he asks his son, you don't see the line. And then uh, Russell's like, no, dad. And then, you know, the dad looks away. But then guess what, people? Obviously, obviously, Clark, uh, obviously, Clark was not thinking straight. But then Clark, but then Clark, as soon as he turns his head away, he looks back at his son because he's shocked that his son is there seeing that, which, <laughs> guys, I, I, I thought that that scene was absolutely hilarious as a kid, and it still is for me as an adult. But uh, but obviously, as but obviously, as the as the court as the course of as the course of the movie goes on, it it gets it gets more crazy, it gets more insane and stuff like that. Um, now what? Now like now like yeah, like yeah. So yeah, guys. Like I said, for those who haven't seen this movie, the movie it starts off good, but the movie it it gets it gets more funny, it gets more crazy, it gets more insane, like. 
Now, guys, uh, now, guys, uh, now, guys, one of the reasons I love this movie is because I, re now, one of the reasons I really like this movie is because I really like the family characters in it, and, like, he I mean, heck, e I mean, heck, e guys, even some of the conversations that the family members have are, you know, good discussions, like, spoilers for those who haven't seen this movie, um, so, guys, uh, spoilers for those who haven't seen this movie, um, Guys, now guys, there is, now guys, there is a, there is a part, there is a part in this movie where, uh, where, uh, now guys, there, now guys, there is a part in this movie where this, uh, this girl by the name of, uh, Audrey, who just so happens to be, you know, the, the daughter of the family, the oldest daughter and stuff like that, um, guess what, people, she's literally talking to her mom about Christmas and stuff like that, and so, and, and so, guys, for those who haven't seen this movie, there is, there, guys, there is a really funny, there is a really funny part in the movie where, so, so, guys, for those who haven't seen this movie, uh, oh, sorry, uh, silly me, uh, uh, so, yeah, guys, so, yeah, uh, but anyways, getting back to the review of the movie itself, like I said, you know, I really, you know, guys, I, guys, I really like the family conversations in this movie, like, uh, like the part where, uh, where Ellen, who is the mother of the family, is talking to her daughter, uh, Aud she's talking to her daughter, Audrey, and stuff like that, and so, and, and, and so, guys, for those who haven't seen this movie, th guys, there is a really funny part where, uh, where, uh, El where Ellen, so, guys, for those who haven't seen this movie, there is a really funny scene where Ellen, she literally starts smoking in the kitchen, but, obvious, but, uh, Helen, who is the mother of the kids, she has a mother by the name of Frances Smith, who is obviously, uh, the kid's, uh, grandmother, and so, guys, for those who haven't seen this movie, the kid's grandma, uh, the kid's grandmother is, now, I, now, guys, uh, for those who haven't seen this movie, uh, the grandma, uh, who the grandma who plays the character Frances Smith is actually played by Doris Roberts, who I do rather like as an actress. Now, granted, I have not really seen a whole lot of stuff with her in it, but the stuff I, you know, seen, you know, I do like her work as an actress. But anyways, but anyways, getting back to the review of the movie itself. Now, now, like I said, you know, like I said, for, a, for now, like I said, of uh, the fam, now, like I said. Now, guys, like I said, uh, the family conversations in this movie are good. Like, uh, now, guys, uh, now, guys, like, anyways, getting back to the review of the movie itself, like I said, there's the part where Helen is smoking a cigarette in the kitchen, but then Helen's mom, Frances, you know, she's upstairs, and, 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 and guess what? The grandma yells, Helen, are you smoking again? And she's like, no. <laughs> and then, you know, and then the daughter, you know, cuts a, 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 a cabbage patch, uh, lettuce whatever i thought that that scene was funny but any but anyway but anyways but anyways guys getting but anyways guys getting back to the review but anyways guys getting back to the review of the movie itself as the as, but guys as the movie goes on it gets more insane like so yeah like, like guys uh, spoilers for the, spoilers for those who have not seen this movie, as it goes on, the movie, like I said, it gets more insane, like, uh, like, like I said, like I said, this movie itself, it does have some really laugh out loud funny moments, like, um, so like I said, spoilers for those who haven't seen this movie, uh, anyways, uh, now anyways, uh, now guys, for those who haven't seen this movie, guys, Literally, guys, literally the day where Clark Griswold is introduced, or where we're introduced to his boss at work, uh, literally, uh, literally the day after that, um, now guys, now guys, for those who haven't seen this movie, guys, there, guys, there is a, there is a really, there is a really funny scene in this movie where, so guys, uh, the, uh, so guys, uh, the main, uh, the main character by the name of Clark, he, so the main character by the name of Clark, he decides that he is going to decorate the house for Christmas. But, for those who haven't seen this movie, uh, like I said, Clark decides he's going to decorate the house for Christmas. And so, I know what some of you guys are thinking. Well, what are the decorations he's going to start with? So, Clark, who is, uh, so Clark, the main character... So, guys, uh, for those who haven't seen this movie, Clark, uh, the main character... Clark is going to... Clark is going to decorate his own house. And I know what some of you are thinking. Well, what is he going to start with? Clark Griswold, Clark, so yeah, the main character by the name of Clark Griswold, 
guess how he's gonna decorate? Clark Griswold. He is, guys, he is literally gonna take a ladder, climb up top, and guess what? Clark Griswold is so stupid that he does not he does not know how to put up Christmas lights on top of the house. In fact, guess what, people? Guess what, people? Guess how he decides to put up uh, Christmas lights on top of the house? He he literally he literally he, he literally takes a he takes a staple gun and he staples Christmas lights to the top of the house, which I thought that scene was funny. But before Clark Griswold decides to do that, he's getting the ladder out, and 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 so and so because and so because of that, uh, so people, uh, so yeah, guys, uh, so yeah, when Clark Griswold decides to do that, before he decides to climb up the ladder, uh, there now, guys, there is literally a scene in the movie where uh, Margot and her husband Todd, the next door neighbors, they see the ladder, and so Mar and so Margot says, and so Margot says. She literally says, oh, I, I hope the guy breaks his neck. But, however, however, Todd, however, Todd, who just so happens to be, who, Todd, who just so happens to be Margot's wife, she, uh, he literally says to Margot, he literally says to Margot, he said, he says, I, he says to Margot, I, he says, he says to Margot, I think he'll fall off the ladder, but I don't think we're lucky enough to see him break his neck. And so obviously the neighbors walk away and stuff like that. And uh, and obvi and obviously and and obviously, guess what, people? Clark's plan to to use a staple gun to get Christmas lights on top of the roof. It let's just say for those who haven't seen this movie, it does not go over well at all. Like he rips his shirt sleeve. Like it's just an absolute disaster. But. That was a that was during daytime at the movie, but obviously, since this is a movie and you have to cut stuff out, obviously, because obviously because of that, the movie a couple minutes later it takes place at night now, where Clark is still where Clark is still stapling the Christmas lights on top of the roof, and so and so and so guess and so guess what, people? Uh, when it comes to the character Clark, guess what, people? His son by the name of Russell, he walks outside. He's holding the he's holding the reindeer, uh, the reindeer decorations. And, and so and so Russell says to his dad, he literally says this. He says, he literally says, Hey dad, where do you want me to put the reindeer? And he says, he says, just set them on the ground, just set them on the ground for now, uh, Russell. And so Russell, he just uh he just carelessly drops the reindeer on top of the ground, and so Russell says, "What about Santa in the basement?" And then, uh, and then that, and then the dad's like, "Oh, we'll get him later," and stuff like that. But like I, but like I said, obviously Clark's plan, obviously Clark's plan does not work out at all because guess what, people? For those who haven't seen this movie, Clark Griswold. N no joke, people. When Clark, when Clark Griswold is trying to set up the Christmas lights on the roof, he b obviously because it's winter time and the roof is slippery. Guess what, people? Clark Griswold, he literally, he literally falls on the top of his butt. He literally slide, he literally slides down off the roof and stuff like that. But however, Clark Griswold does not fall off the roof yet because. Clark Griswold, he, guess what, Clark Griswold, he is, he is literally, he is literally hanging off the side of the house with, like, the, the metal pipes attached to it, but guess, uh, the metal pipes, vents, or whatever, but obviously, but obviously, since it, obviously, since it does not go well at all, Clark Griswold, guess what, people, obviously, because the plan does not work at all, the metal pipes, uh, they they literally break off the side of the roof and then guess what for those who haven't seen the movie there is a giant icicle that shoots out of the pipes and it goes into the neighbor's house and hits the stereo and stuff like that but because of that it it but because of that it believe it or not it guys it guys it actually it actually does cause the neighbor's power to go out and stuff like that uh, at least at the top stairs part and I will admit, like I said, there are some really funny scenes in this movie, especially with the neighbors. Like, spoilers for those who haven't seen this movie. Uh, like now, like I said, spoilers for those who haven't seen the movie. Uh, guess guess what, people? The neighbors themselves, they guess what? The neighbors are obviously confused when something hit the stereo, and then and and then so and then so guess and then so guess what, people? Guess what? There, guys, there is literally a fun, there is a very funny scene where 
where Todd is talking to his wife, uh, where Todd is talking to his wife, and he says, he says, well, something had to hit the stereo, but as, but as soon as Todd says, but guess what, people? As soon as Todd says that, as, but guess what, people? The second Todd says that, guess what, people? Todd, his wife Margo, she literally says to her husband, well, why is the floor wet? But obviously, her husband hawks her, her. Obviously, her husband uh, mocks her and is like, I don't know, Margot, and stuff like that.